This lesson video starts a new application that we're going to use for the next section. And this application is going to be called To-Do List. And it's going to allow us to interact with the database built into our Android devices. The database is a very essential element to many applications because we can put data into a database and then leave it there. Even after the application is closed, it will still reside in the database. And then we can pull that data back out at any time when our application opens to be able to reuse that information. Now, so far, we've been working with variables. And if I look here at the last application we created, I created a variable called a Boolean. And that Boolean only holds the value while the application is running. Once the application is closed, that value is gone. And if you read through the lesson text, you would have read about arrays, which are very similar to a variable, but unlike a variable that only can store one value, and an array can store multiple values called elements in the same object. Now, an array and a string, both are objects that will disappear, as I'd mentioned, when the application is closed. So this section is a very important section because it'll teach you how to use the database and we're going to build upon concepts before we actually start working with the code. So as I mentioned this lesson was dealing with arrays and although the lesson activities themselves specifically are not going to deal with arrays on this video, once we start working with the database we will start seeing arrays being created. So let's go ahead and begin by creating our new application. I'm going to go ahead and close out of any of the tabs that I had open from previous sections. And let's go ahead and create our new application. File, new, Android application project. And as I'd mentioned, we're going to name it to do list. And I'm going to go ahead and put the minimum requirement as honeycomb compiled with the most recent and the target SDK is also going to be the most recent. I'll go ahead and choose next. Next. And in the last section we went ahead and created ourselves our own custom launcher icon. I'm going to go ahead and just leave the default icon for this lesson. Go ahead and hit next. Next. And finish. Alright, let's go ahead and begin setting up the application just a little bit. I'm going to click on the activity main.xml file and switch over to the graphical layout. And I do not need the hello world edit text, so let's go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to go ahead and move over now and edit text. So go ahead and click on the text fields. And I'll go ahead and drag over a plain text. I will align it left and to the top. And I'll go ahead and change the ID, edit ID. Edit text, we'll call this one task, and hit OK. And I'll just go ahead and add a hint. So I'll right click and choose Edit Hint. And for the value, I'll just go ahead and put Enter Task, and hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and move over a button, which is going to be found under the Form Widgets, and I'll choose the small button. I'll go ahead and drag this over and align parent to the right and to the top. And let's go ahead and change some of the properties. I'll right click on the button, change the ID. We'll call this one button add task. I'll hit OK. And I'll right click again on the button and change the text. And I'll go ahead and just use the plus symbol for this one and go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and drag over one more button. I'll drop it below these and I'll align it to the left. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the button and then drag the right hand side all the way back over to the right and align parent right true. That'll make a full size button on our screen. And if I look at the activity main.xml and find this button, you'll see that it has the align parent left set to true as well as the align parent right. So this button is going to be across the entire screen of my application. Now I'm going to go ahead and change some of the properties of this one as well. Let's go ahead and edit the text, and I want it to say clear all tasks. I'll go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to also right click on the button and choose to edit the ID. And we'll call this one button clear tasks. And hit OK. OK, in the next lesson we're going to go ahead and continue to work with our layout to start working with the list view 
that we will use to be able to populate all of the tasks on our layout.